Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to start talking about the UMG, which stands for User Motion Graphic User Interface Designer. And more specifically, in this video, we're going to learn how to add our variant manager into a widget interface to be able to use it inside our uh, real-time presentation. For the variant manager uh, tutorial, if you have missed this video, I'm going to put the link for that video in the description below. And now we're going to start by creating a user interface, a widget blueprint, which basically an interface that you're going to see once you start uh, playing your real-time presentation. So I'm going to right-click and create widget blueprint. And name this, for example, Canopy Options. I'll double click it and a window will appear showing that this is your user interface that you're gonna see while you're uh, engaging in your real time and on the left side you're gonna see a bunch of common tools that you can add to this user interface which most of them are really cool stuff that you can um, enhance your user interface with them so your client or whoever is seeing this uh, presentation can enjoy the look of the presentation much better so I'm gonna add some buttons to our uh, interface here and to represent uh, the three options of the canopy. So this is the first button, let's call it uh, option 01. And below here you can see that there is uh, an image that you can add, for example, to uh, the button to be visible in your uh, presentation. I've uh, created just roughly uh, image showing the form of the canopy and if you if for example if you don't want to add anything uh, on top of the button if you want to leave it as it is that's also an option so I'm gonna just add this as option 01 uh, first one so as you can see it's roughly just representing the first option we can add actually also a text uh, let's say for example uh, on top of them or we can add it here let's say for example this is gonna be canopy options so in case for example you're gonna have multiple uh, um, switches or uh, buttons or uh, classifications in, in your interface if, and you wanna classify each one of them so we can add this as the canopy options for example so uh, for the button can see that uh, you have also uh, three types of these uh, images the first one which appear uh, in your interface and the next one which represent uh, the button when it's hovered so I think we, we should have uh, the hovered and the pressed uh, image should be the same as the, the actual image or if you want to change it it's up to you so to instead of searching for the image again I'm just gonna click for the browse button for the image then I'm just gonna click on the arrow to select this image I'm gonna inherit the the same uh, effect of the same image uh, on each button so again on the first button and this is basically the first button so I'm gonna add also another button I'm gonna call it this option 02 and click on the browse button so again on the image uh, hovered let's add the same image and the same goes for the pressed and in here and let's not forget to name this as option 02 and the last button and we're gonna call this uh, option 03 name the button also and don't forget to press on the pros so you can stick to this image so as you can see the image doesn't look that really that good but it's just as an indication of the of the canopy option okay so this is just a basic startup for the interface later on we're gonna add a bunch of other stuff uh, on the user interface but uh, for the for this demonstration of the variant manager switch uh, after adding the button now we need to go to the graph section 
to start adding uh, a function to these buttons. So the first thing we need to do is to drag from the event construct is to get actors all actors of class and this basically will call whatever it is that you want to call from your uh, actor class inside your your uh, engine uh, your project so basically because you have created a level variant set that represent our uh, variant manager we're gonna call this level variant set and select it and this is basically an array of all the variant set so I'm gonna get a copy of this one and to make things much work much faster in our presentation I'm gonna promote this into a variable and name this basically level variant set okay so not don't forget to connect this all together and hit compile and once you get the green check that means you're okay so I'm gonna drag from the, the, the level variant set other a node that will switch between the variant manager that we have created basically because we have our options of the canopy we want to call this inside our uh, widget interface so I'm gonna call this a switch on variant by name and this is basically where we're gonna s set up our uh, buttons to switch between these variant using uh, this node so I'm gonna click on the first option of the button and go below this to the event on the click press this and a node will appear that represent the function of this button once it clicked so I'm gonna cl connect this to the switch now we don't need this anymore so I'm gonna connect this one and the next thing we're gonna do is assign the variant set name and the variant name so in our case the variant set name is the canopy options so make sure you get uh, the same uh, spelling so it can work properly and for our variant name that's gonna be canopy option one also you can just rename it copy it and paste it okay so this is for button one so we're gonna do the same thing again for button two and hit on click and drag it here I'm gonna select the switch on variant my name and control W to duplicate it and connect our uh, button to it and make sure you connect also the level variant set so to call this variant but you have to change the uh, name of the variant here so I'm gonna change this into two and again for uh, button three we're gonna connect it here duplicate our switch on variant by name connect it and also the variant set and change the name of this one to three okay so now we have everything uh, established together we're gonna compile and head back to our uh, interface so now that we have created our widget interface if you hit play now as you can see we don't see any of the buttons yet because we need to add this to our uh, level uh, blueprints and you can do this by two different ways basically we can uh, right click by blueprint class and choose an actor let's name for example this is uh, the widget uh, actor and double click it and we have a, an event graph here the other way you can do this is that you can go directly into the blueprint the open level blueprint and do the same thing here also but for this now, let's do it through the actor. So I'm gonna drag from the event begin play and create a widget. Basically, this will call our widget. So if you hit on the list here, you'll find your uh, our widget that we have created, the canopy options. And then I'm gonna drag from this add to viewport. So it's gonna be visible into our viewport. And then hit compile. And the next thing we need to do is we need to drag this actor inside our scene here and I'm gonna hit play and as you can see now we can see our uh, buttons uh, canopy options so now two things we need to notice that our mouse is getting uh, hitting once we play and if you click 
Shift and F1, you can see the mouse. But we, we need to enable this inside our scene to be visible all the time. The other thing is that even we have set up our uh, widget interface, and the buttons are still not active. And this is a common mistake that always happen uh, when we forget to drag our uh, level variant set into our scene. So basically, this is something that you we never should forget uh, to add into our scene to activate the level uh, variant set. So before we hit play again, we're just gonna go to the preference, and we're gonna drag from the event begin play, and we're gonna write show mouse cursor. So whenever you, that you don't see it in your uh, executable options, just hit on the constant sensitivity and you'll see it over there, shows, show mouse cursor. And I'm going to drag from uh, the target, uh, get player controller. And don't forget to activate the show mouse cursor and hit compile and let's hit play. So now we can see that our mouse is visible all the time and now if we hit on our uh, buttons to change our variant uh, uh, options of the canopy you can see, sorry about that, yes, there was no... Um, we forgot to add occlusion to this one, so just let's add it quickly thanks to this one and complex hit play again so now if we just go a little bit to the right and we can actually see that our buttons now are working together uh, to change our canopy options so again don't forget to drag your level variant set and the widget actor into your scene and once you activate you'll see that your buttons are working fine so this is just a, a basic startup on how to use uh, the widget interface by adding the level mari variant manager uh, options but later on in our next video we're gonna start adding uh, some more cool stuff and also discuss how to uh, uh, for example establish a better way to see uh, to call and hide these buttons uh, on and off so whenever for example if you want to show your uh, presentation you, know, you don't want to see this while your presentation you want to hit something to call them back we're going to see this later on in our next video so i hope this was clear enough uh, for our basic start for the widget uh, interface and uh, thank you very much see you in the next video